I hope you guys are all having a spectacular day. Easy out of fix here and today we're gonna learn symptoms of a bad idle air control valve. The purpose of the idle air control valve is to regulate the amount of air coming into the engine while stationary to ensure a smooth idle. Your car might not even have one. Some newer cars have an electronic throttle body that is controlled by the ECM to open up and allow airflow to ensure a smooth idle. An idle air control valve can go bad in three different ways. It can be stuck open, stuck closed, or clogged. The location of the idle air control valve will be near the throttle. Here's the location on the Toyota Camry. The first symptom you might be experiencing with a bad idle air control valve is having your check engine light on. Here's some codes related to a bad idle air control valve. You can go to the parts store near you and they'll most likely read these codes for free. Or you can buy the scanner that I have that's worth it, linked in the description below. Now you can still have a faulty idle air control valve with no check engine light, so let's move on to the next symptom. The second symptom is noticing your idle too high or too low. If the idle air control valve is stuck open, it will increase air going into the engine, which will increase your RPMs, usually above a thousand. If it's stuck closed or clogged, it will restrict air from coming into the engine, which will cause your RPMs to drop below 600. An average idle RPM range should be between 600 and 1000. The third symptom is an engine stall during idle. If the idle air control valve is closed or clogged to the point where not enough air is coming into the engine to keep it running, it will result in an engine stall. This leads me to the fourth symptom, a crank but no start. The starter could be turning the engine, ignition coils, spark plugs, fuel injectors and sensors could be running perfectly, but if there isn't enough air coming into the engine, there will never be consistent combustion, preventing your car from starting. If you suspect a clogged idle air control valve and want to save some money, try using the clean chemical in the description below before buying a new one. A quick tip to help you out if your car is not starting is to crank the engine, press down on the gas pedal. This will allow the throttle plate to open up and bring air into the engine for the combustion process to start and get you going. Perfect. We just learned symptoms of a bad idle air control valve. I hope you guys learned something new today. If you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe so I can see you in the next video.